and this device is called abacus scale this device is called a Come on, tell me loudly. It's called as abacus scale. What is it called? Abacus scale. Perfect. So now, you know, whatever device you want to do magic, you need to first know about that device, right? Yes. Without knowing about the device, you cannot do magic. Some beads over here. Yes. So the one on the lower side, the one on the lower side, are called lower beads. They are called lower beads. Very good. And what we call one on the upper side? Papa beads, clap for yourself. See, you are so smart, kids. Very good. Nice. So these are called lower beads. <coughs> these are called upper beads. In between, can you see a line in between? Yes. This line is called answer line. This line is called answer, answer line. line. And can you see a black color dot over here? Yes. This black color dot is called unit dot. It's called unit, unit dot. dot. And can you see this white color thing? Yes. They are called rods. They are called rods. rods. This is main frame, lower beads, upper beads, answer line, unit dot, and rod. Okay, come on, tell me what is this? Main frame. This lower beads. This upper beads. This answer line. This unit dot. And this rod. Very good. Now, can you see all the upper beads are on upper side? Yes. And the lower beads are on lower side? Yes. Is there any bead touching the answering line? No. So we call it a clear abacus. We call it a clear abacus. And the answer is zero. And the answer is zero. zero. Any bead is not touching, right? Yes. So we call it a clear abacus. We call it a clear, clear abacus. And the answer is this bead's value is one. This bead's value is one, this bead's value is one, and this bead's value is one. one. So this all you can imagine as four one rupees coin. Okay, these are four one rupees coin, or each bead has their value one. one. The upper bead. Can you see the upper bead? Yes. The value of upper bead is five. The value of upper bead is five, five. or a five rupee coin. Okay, the value of upper bead is five. five. The value of lower bead is one. one. Clear? Yes. Now. When I move one bead up and touch the answering line, what is the answer? One. Perfect. What is the answer? One. one. If I move one more bead up, now what is the answer? Two. Two. It is one plus one, two. Okay? One, two. No, one, two, no. One plus one, two. Clear? Now if I put one more bead, what is the answer? Three. Very good. Now, Seven. Now. Eight. Now. Nine. Now. Five. Plus two. Plus one. Minus five. Minus one. What is the answer? Two. Correct. She did right. Yes. Plus five. Plus five. Plus one. Plus one. Minus four. Minus four. Minus five. Minus Plus two. plus 2 again plus 2 plus, five. plus five. 5 minus 4, minus four. what is the answer five. very good yeah. one two three give me the answer one zero three zero two one zero three zero two is the correct answer clap for yourself nine into nine nine eight this is closer to 1000. Yes? Four will come here. Yeah? Minus? Minus zero, zero, one. Minus zero, zero, two. Cross the track. Nine, nine, nine. Minus zero, zero, two. Will give us? Nine, nine, seven. Multiply. Zero, zero, two. This is your answer. Not only hundreds, thousands. Is this interesting? Yes. Is this amazing? Yes. Okay, eight, nine, ten standard students. Do you have squares? Yes. Not the flooring squares, square of numbers. Yes. What is the square of five? Five. Five. 
five, five. Make it zero. This is one. This is two. One plus one, two, right? Yes. Plus one, three. three. Plus one, four. Okay, this is zero. This is five. Five, five plus one, six. Plus one, seven. Plus one, eight. Plus one, nine. Perfect. Clear till now? Yes. On your one hand, we are now able to calculate till nine.